I'll show you how to integrate Salesforce with ServiceNow. Um, ServiceNow is a ticketing system or the service uh, platform. Um, Salesforce is a CRM. Um, ServiceNow is widely used software for service management, creating incidents, change requests, you know, customer service tickets, so forth. Um, yeah. So first you have to create a ServiceNow account. You should have the ServiceNow environment. You should be able to create in that system. So you go to developer.servicenow.com to create a new self service now instance. If you don't have a, um, a service now instance, if you work for a company, if you have already, you can disregard this um, uh, uh, step. So you, as I said earlier, you go there and click here, sign in here, upper right hand corner here. Uh, so you enter email and need assistant, you sign up here. If you don't have, uh, you have to sign up here. So I, um, uh, I already had created a service now developer account. This is my instance at a home. Uh, most important thing is the, um, uh, manage instant password for integration. So I use the use ID password of um, uh, service now to integrate Salesforce and create in instance from a case. So this is my instance. Uh, this is the instant URL. This is admin. It generates a password for you. Admin is, is the username with the same for everybody. So this is, uh, let me go there again here, uh, manage instant password. So this is a cell for uh, service of instance. I'll go there here. If you go there, you have to enter admin as a username, password, the generated one, uh, one for you here. It's logging in. So we are still on the ServiceNow side, not in the Salesforce side. What we are going to do is we are going to create an Apex class um, and which uses as case information to create a ServiceNow incident. Okay, we are right now in the ServiceNow instance. You click all here. So if you type incidents here, so these are the all incidents when you click all. So what I'm, so this is the service of instance. Um, you have to um, uh, create a such incident. So the my dom, uh, domain is dev223067 dot service hyphen now dot com. That's the URL. If you create a new a developer org, for sales as uh, for service now it will be uh, having a dev some some number here dot service now dot com this is pretty much like the trail head salesforce trailhead of um service now um so let's go to um uh, the uh, salesforce site so I'm going to create a case, go to case here. My objective is converting a uh, case to an incident in Salesforce. What you have to do is you should have an Apex or call, um, write an Apex class to connect to ServiceNow and create over there. Um, so, KC is the closest equivalent of the Salesforce incident. So when uh, people call you up, the uh, 
De- uh, de- for desktop support or IT support or customer service. So you create a case on Salesforce in service cloud and then uh, you create an incident on service now with the service cloud is a close uh, equivalent to um, service now um, but uh, service now is more popular. What we are going to do is you can have a button here when you go here a light press a light, uh, lightning button and then create an incident from case you set in service now or send all this information create an incident um uh, so what i'm going to do is my part is today creating an um uh, apex class um uh, to integrate with service now and send over the um, case information to service now create an incident so this is the uh, method here called service now the class name is service now call out so i'm getting all the um, uh, info uh, information or fields related to the case id you pass string this is the case id so from here to here, I, um, ge- I am generating the JSON. This is the post method. I need to send the case information over to service now, create an incident. So, um, so this part creates the JSON. And then this part uh, this is the user ID um, password, which I, I hard coded here. Uh, in real world, you can put a custom level for over here. You know where I got this user ID password from the service from here. Manage instance password, right? Um, so I come over here. About that, I am debugging json created um it has a short description and then i'm getting the current case the case subject and description case description uh i'm putting a break fix priority for state to be worked um so when you go there um so this is the um, authorization header so I create a header value blob. I use ID password. Uh, I put the use username, colon password. Authorization header is a basic space. And this value over here, base 64 encode here, is pretty much like a basic space username, colon password. And we are going to HTTP request. And this is a HTTP um, uh, object and inst- instantiated. So I need the request to send over uh, my information. This is the header is authorization. The header information I put authorization in the authorization header. Endpoint is the, this one here to create an incident here. This is my domain name api forward slash now v1 forward slash table incident that is a uh, api um, uh, of service now to create a um, an incident um, you you can go to uh, service now developer documentation to get the right api for you so this is the endpoint i use the, it is a pause method. I set a timeout max number. This is uh, 120,000 uh, milliseconds. Content type JSON. Applic- JSON. Um, so I put the JSON in the body, create a JSON here. So I this is a response. Um, HTTP response. I send the request. I get the results. I I debugging here. Let's go there. So I am. I got the results back. I'm passing here. Over here. Uh, 
it has a in incident number is a number here so i i have a field call service now incident i copy the the incident number over here it is in e e i n c and some number and then um if it is a system id i um uh i get the system id information here this is a internal system id for us in service of incident i need to display it in um in a, in a link in a url in um, selfos so if i go here this is the one this is the already created the, um uh this is the incident number the with the sys id this is a url here so what i do here i go to um uh Salesforce create a new case. Then I'm going to integrate with uh, service now, and uh, and we can we can see the service now link uh, from Salesforce. The link of the incident. Okay. Uh, contact name. Uh, is we have to put some field necessary fields here creating a case there test object one test fiction one okay i'm going to save it so it is created this is the id i'm getting the id from here to the id so okay let me go there uh, let me go uh, go through the code here so i set the um, system id and then and i did the case i have the exception handling here i have a return the inc uh, string incident created in service now um so this is the method i create a to create an incident in service now huh. so for the sake of testing you can create a test class but i have a test class but i'm not going to into detail but i can call this uh, method uh, execute anonymous window uh, and create interact with the uh, or integrate with service now create an incident uh, of this case so how i do it uh, so this is the class this is a method okay this is the case id case id is this here copy it here to execute it it's done so i'm going to the same case which i used to um, integrate with service now as incident uh you can see here i have here service now incident service now um uh id and service now incident service now incident and system id should be populated when i re it is already in the database if it work let me refresh it it was created earlier you can see incident was created in service now i retrieve the incident number this is inc 00100029 this is the system id inter internal to the service now of the incident this is the service now incident url now we are going to see this created incident 
in service now. Okay, test shamar one, you can see it is already created. Test description is the um, a test subject one is a description. Description is test description one. So this is the uh, ending with 29, it's uh, incident number. So I, um, yeah. so I created three fields here to populate the incident number and the system ID of the incident and the uh, uh, the, the uh, formula field uh, to display the link of the service now incident. Let me go to the um, object. I'll show you the um, fields I created. Go to I yeah, started with service now here. This is a service now incident is a text. Service now URL is a formula field. Is a system ID. Let me click the URL here. So let me make it larger. You could see. So this is the um, URL. What I'm doing is HTTP my um, developer instance service now dot com forward slash incident dot do question mark sys underscore id equals and I'm getting internal system id and it is it so it construct this URL when you click that you go to that so uh, service now so we what we did to summarize we created a service now account developer account it is optional if you have already service now account because we need the username and password to integrate with that okay so this is the service now incident um these are the uh, service now incident so in the salesforce we created a class called service now callout uh, it, uh, there's a method inside that we it, it gets a case ID and it, it retrieves the case number subject. You can add more um, fields. This is just a demo. And then I construct a JSON. I have the use ID password defined here. So I set the header method endpoint and the post method. And then, then I HTTP response, HTTP send. I'm using HTTP send object to call the, to send the request, and it returns the HTTP re response. I go through the response, um, uh, and then I get the incident number, number, and the sys ID, and copy to. Um, Salesforce fields. So yeah, that's what I did. And then um, then I update the uh, case. So yeah, that's a summary of what we did here. Yeah.